Hello, Bond fans. September 2024 marks the 60th anniversary of Goldfinger, arguably the Bond film that put the franchise on the map. To celebrate this occasion, Eon Productions created a special installation inside the Burlington Arcade in London, the centerpiece of which is a 007 themed bar and boutique. And it was here that members of the British James Bond fan club 007GB gathered on the first day of opening for an impromptu meet. I used this occasion to grab several of them for chats. And in this episode, I'm speaking with David Zaritsky, probably the biggest Bond fan in the world and very well known to many of you. And I asked him what brought him to Bond in the first place. When I was very young, my father would uh, introduce me to Bond films. So it was just a matter of time until I came back. But as I was getting older and a young executive, I needed uh, some sort of icon from a style standpoint to kind of gravitate to and say, well, who really epitomizes good style that I could sort of, for want of a better term, copy? And uh, well, James Bond is kind of the style icon. So that's what sort of brought me back to Bond. Okay. And when you say you needed an icon, was that literally something you would style yourself? Absolutely. Still kind of do. Um, using sort of the pattern of what Bond wears and how he even acts. Did you find that during the Craig era, this was something that came more naturally to you than, say, previous Bonds that were more formal? I think so. I mean, Brosnan is when I sort of got back into it, but Daniel Craig is, I, I equate him to kind of the everyman. You know, he's the type of person that, you know, anybody, he looks like a rugby player. You know, he's not this tall, absolutely gorgeous person. Um, he's a regular guy. So was as, that a key criticism when he took over? For some people, not for me. I welcomed it with open arms. Yeah. Okay. Now, you are a marketing executive. I am. Right? Yeah. In the, in the healthcare space? That's right. That's right. Pharmaceuticals. How does that inform your, the, the way you approach Bond? And the, I know you have brand cooperation. Sort of I, I would say that. A lot of the marketing attributes I learned in my job, I do apply to the Bond experience. For example, uh, preheating. You know, this thing called preheating where you uh, send out a little uh, image or copy or content before you actually have the main video to get people interested and excited, to draw people in. Uh, storytelling from a marketing standpoint, I think is very important. So from a storytelling standpoint, it's exactly the same. You, you align characters in the story, to a challenge or an opportunity, you create a solution and suddenly you have a video, same thing. So I started a YouTube channel as a creative outlet, just for pure pleasure. Um, the, the, the whole idea was I'm a creator. I, I, I'm a creator at work, at home. I like to make things, but also I like to entertain. So I'm thinking, what's a good platform to do that? And taking James Bond, already my hobby and passion, and creating content, YouTube seemed to be the right platform. What I think made it jump really high, like, oh, it's, it's cute, it's adorable that he's doing this, to like, whoa, was when, back in 2012, when I did the uh, Skyfall Peacoat video. Ah. And then suddenly, the brand noticed all these sales were coming in. They're like, what is going on? Traced it back to my video. They got in touch with me, and that's started the whole rolling of what you see now. Yeah. And uh, the fitting music in the background? Very fitting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Very. then I see an extraordinary amount of content that you produce. Yes. How does that fit into your professional life? When do um, I don't sleep much. I, have, uh, I get about four hours of sleep a night. So the rest of the time, up until I work, I just focus on Bond. So you're literally there in your basement yeah. recording? Three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning, sometimes. Yeah, it's crazy. There you heard it here. Folks, that's the kind of dedication it takes. That's it. That's all it takes. So there you have it. The secret to David Zaritsky's success on YouTube is less sleep so we can all have more fun. But wait, there's more. In honor of the occasion, Enpeel, one of the franchise's fashion brand partners, created an exclusive Goldfinger 60th collection. Yeah. So let's have a look. And, um, yeah, so we have, this is the outfit from No Time To Die. All right, yes, I recognize that. Wow, come 
trousers. Yeah. This is actually good. This is what he wears at the at the end in yeah. the, the finale. Yeah, with the oh. braces. Yeah. And wow. then the two the two new pieces for um Goldfinger are these two. Ah, yes. the oh, it's a cashmere. You actually made this a cashmere, cashmere jacket silk. based on the one Connery wore. Oh, divine. Yeah. Oh. Big fan of cashmere. Everything yeah. cashmere. And Beautiful. Then we have uh, the inspired Milano jacket and the polo from Spectre. You have seen mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. polo. The jacket is nice. It's a very nice jacket. And then we have. Uh, Three-piece suit inspired. Oh, this is the, the Goldfinger yes. three-piece suit. Is that also cashmere? Uh, yeah, no, this no. is wool. This is wool. Yeah. And then for Skyfall, we made the Skyfall jacket. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful kind of white guy. Yeah. See you? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's this is very much in demand. You get people who come and say, I want to see specifically the yes, James Bond, Bond items. Yeah, yeah, we do. This is from when Bond was playing golf. <laughs> of course, yeah, from yeah. Goldfinger. Yeah. This. Yeah, so, yeah, these are the pieces from the collection. It's lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, and beautiful. thank you so much. In the next episode, I speak to Phil Dewhurst, the president of the British James Bond fan club and we learn how to make a proper James Bond style vodka martini. Before you go, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I release a new video. And if you haven't watched my conversation with Graham James of James Bond Confidential, you can watch that right here, right now. Take care.